you want to use ghosts? Oh, no. Yeah, they're way easier. <laughs> we have to actually be a team to use a wraith. Oh, or a, or a warthog. So oh, basically, wow. she just goes to you, David. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm here, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Our duty is to protect humanity. Whatever the cost. to Mission Debriefs 20 for 20. We've played every Halo mission, and now we're going to rank the 20 best for the 20th anniversary of the franchise. I'm your host, Colin Perkins, and I'm joined by David Arnold. Hey, everybody. Matt Salvatore. Hoy, hoy. And Krista Brown. This is the long one, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's real it long. Is. This episode, we are playing Assault, Assault on the Control Room. This is the third mission on our list, and it's the fifth mission in Halo CE. So CE starts out pretty good, huh? Mm -hmm. It's because there's no flood. <laughs> All right. I mean, we well, haven't started Halo well. backwards yet. <laughs> we haven't gone backwards. Um, the last mission was Silent Cartographer. So if you uh, did, if you missed that, go check that out. We had a fun conversation there. We gave it a pretty good score, too. Um, for the full list of 20 missions check out uh, our website is halopodcast.com slash 2420 while you're there check out all the cool stuff that we have on the website including shows lore pages articles merch and much more if you uh, enjoy the series let us know by commenting on the video giving us a like or subscribing to the channel you can also support the show by visiting podcast evolved on patreon let's dive into this one here we go let's go <laughs> All right. I'm pressing the button. Here we go. Get ready. Get excited. All right. Aerial insertion. It's time. We're inserting all over the place. <laughs> all of the insertions. All the inserts. That's right. Gross. Uh, we have... So, let's see here. We have Echo 419 along with us, right? Yeah. She's the one doing the aerial insertion underground. But it's only Chief on this. Just just these yes. two. Little goofy moment here, right? It's so good, though. I mean, how else are you supposed to react, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I love these um, in-game cutscenes in the back of the Pelican that they do in Halo CE. Mm. Do I have no weapon? You have no weapon when I look at you. Uh, no, you had an assault rifle. But this is the gun I really need. Sorry, that's just me. What can I do about that? Can I turn it down? Or I should turn it off. Is it really bad? It's it's authentic. It lends to That's the uh, experience. Uh, <laughs> I do not have the option to turn that off. That's okay. In the, in -game uh, the game office. audio probably will overpower. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. It only goes if you use the assault rifle. That's true. I'll change weapon. <laughs> yeah, just use the pistol. It's superior anyway. I really do love the assault rifle design. Yeah. I love the stealth segments. Assassination. I know, I love it. Oh man. As soon as you walk in this door, I'm just like, oh boy, here we go. Yeah. I'll up for this one. I love how in CE, 
when a grenade goes off, it just sets off a chain reaction that just like blows everything. Oh, oh my god, if you put the pinata skull on, the library is ridiculous with that. Just madness, yeah. It's, uh, it's just, and then you put on the like, uh, um, expanded grenades, um, explosions. You put on the expanded explosions, you put on pinata, and your world just explodes every single time you throw a grenade. <laughs> And then the, the um, the flood that popped I also set off grenades. It's, it's, oh man, it's oh, yeah. chaos. Wild. It's... It, look, look at the old graphics to this thing real quick. Ugh. Interesting. The weather patterns it's here very seem bland. natural, not artificial. I wonder it's, if the ring's environment own, systems you know, are malfunctioning. Charm. I still have a lot of nostalgia for it. wanted the installation to have inclement weather. Fire Team Zulu requesting immediate assistance from any UNSC oh, forces. Has anyone copies? Oh, Banshee. Banshee. I didn't think there were any forces left on this planet. So this is actually, um, in Cortana to Fire Team Zulu. Everyone, this is actually the Fire Team Zulu. This is Cortana. 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 Man, I've seen it done. It has something to do with the turret. It has something to do with the turret. It has something to do, like, you're supposed to stand, like, right here. The Banshee will come towards you, try to loop around and get caught here. Which will then force the driver out of the Banshee for whatever reason. It's, it's one of those crazy glitches. Oh, I, love the, I love these uh, glass panels. Yes. I always like to lure the sword elite out and then shoot oh, no, the glass so he falls. That's so satisfying. Yeah. Just like, oh yeah, come and get it. And then he's down in the bottom. Yeah, that's what I like to see. He's on the door. Oh, he's right behind. Yep. Okay. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Come on, come on, come on. Come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. No! no! Oh, he jumped. <laughs> so angry. Oh, he died. Oh, oh, shit. No! No, Krista! Oh, no, we both died! Oh, death oh. number one. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, good. Now I don't feel so bad. <laughs> <laughs> the weather patterns here seem usual, not artificial. I wonder if the ring's environment systems are malfunctioning. Or if the designers wanted to do it. Suicide drones are in a thing. Yeah. I didn't think there were any human forces left on this part of the room. They still chuck it, but they don't want to end. Yeah, they, just, they don't do the, uh... Yeah, they don't, I think that was I know Suicide Grounds really became big in Reach, where you had that, like, that full stretch of it in that city. That's always fun. Alexander. It is a great mission. It's so sad though. Yeah, because that's where the game turned really off the door twice. Yeah, well, and also, like, it's such... It's a great mission to do after the, uh... Um, the George mission, because that one's just so crazy and insane and upbeat the whole time, and then you get this kind of lull. Where you're just kind of wandering through the city. Mm -hmm. We're totally off. Awesome. <laughs> it's Halo. It's, it's Halo. It's Halo. It's Halo. It's okay. Oh, ah! <laughs> that, that's true. <laughs> that's true. That is true. Alright. And, and no, and just like that, no deaths at all. There are no deaths. Yeah, I, I can edit that. Yeah, just, just, <laughs> yeah, just, just perfect. First time they walked across the bridge, guys. Oh, yeah, all of these, all of these rooms are like exactly the same. <laughs> There's slight differences, but yeah. low ammo. Here we go. I'm all here. Please, Please no, no, I need, I need my, my pistol. Almost had to use this assault rifle. <laughs> I know. I was thinking about it. I'm like, ah, oh, shit. I gotta use this. Am wow. I that shit? Honors. Open up, baby. Oh. Yes. No. So did we decide if they are the more enemies in co-op or is it the same? The same. It seems the same. It's the same, yeah. 
like co-op scaling is years away from gaming, like yeah. like that. I know this isn't the door we're supposed to go through for, because of this helpful arrow. Over mm -hmm. here. <laughs> All right. This mission would have been impossible without these arrows. Oh yeah. Everything yeah. looks yeah. exactly the symmetrical the same. architecture. The forward and stuff is just. You just end up at the start of the mission again, and you're like, yeah. ugh, turn it off. It's also kind of fun because in two betrayals, you go against the arrows yeah. as well, which, which is, is pretty cool. That's who you're. That's the who you're betraying is the arrows. We are the arrows. <laughs> that's one of the betrayals. <laughs> I I don't know if it's it's something nope. I've just noticed, but like when oh. when David Shield. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost my pistol. I'm so proud of yourself, Krista. I'm so proud of myself. That was great. That elevator is so glitchy. Now that I've already died, I mean. Once you get it over with. Dude, you're just snoozing. You're murdering him, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that guy not see you. I guess not. He's got really bad peripheral vision. <laughs> Has he, has he turned yet? Oh, no, he is not. Oh, oh no, I think okay. his friend woke up. I broke it. Ah. Good, that means it wasn't what I did. I think I broke it for last time. I think I broke it for last time. Stupid forerunner glass. Yeah, they got some cheap stuff for that glass. Yeah, they're there. not using the hard light on those. Yeah, they blew the budget on like the weapon destruction part. They're like, eh, use the cheap glass. Right. He's like, just throw the punch. So there is a skull up here. Oh, that's right. Yeah. It, you it have to do a grenade jump. There's no other way, but it's in this room here. Oh, here. right. You might be able to see it, maybe. No. It's, in the, it's up there. Only someone had packed a jetpack. Oh, I know, right? We wouldn't have to grenade jump everywhere like crazy. I actually maybe like I a grapple hook or something. That'd be cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, a grapple hook would be oh, really yeah. interesting. Like Batman. I'm late. I'm late. Like Batman. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck oh, yeah. Yeah. Here we yeah. go. All right. Do you want the rocket launcher or do you want the sniper? I do not want the sniper. Okay, I'll take the sniper. Oh, okay. I love the sniper. It's so cool. Yeah, oh, that's so awesome. Cool. I love Halo. And I think we got a wraith there. Don't we get our first? Wraith? Yeah, there's a wraith. Uh, there's two ghosts over there. You can, you can see the bridge that you crossed. Right? Yeah. Yes. Well, I'm dead. There. You're dead. Oh, it's the ghost. Yeah, wraith, wraith. First ghost you can get, I believe. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Is this our first encounter with Covenant vehicles? No. Yes. Yeah. It is. It is. It, it is. Whoa. Oh, so this is this is a iconic level. Ground vehicle. You got anyway. that wraith. I love, I love how the wraith fires. Like it's like instead of a straight line. That is, yeah, it's like, like such a, order. Yeah. Yeah, order. That's the it's, cool. it's got such an, it adds such an to the vehicle. It makes it distinct from the scorpion. Are you still dead, David? Yeah. I'm you think they could just stick a laser beam on that thing, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, they did it in Halo 2, like, where they put, uh, like, little guns on the front of it that, that kill you. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah. Did it lot You can take that, Uh, I'll use it just to get over to where the weapons are. Um, so I can get all this stuff. Is there a Warthog here, right? Where'd it go? Uh, it's over here in the back, if we want to do Warthog, but there are two ghosts on this level. You want to use ghosts on them? Yeah, they're way easier. <laughs> we have to actually be a team to use a wraith, oh, or a or a warthog. So basically, that. she just ghosted you, David. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yep, yeah. yeah. that's why I'm here, guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a good. Joke. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Oh no, there's a guy in now. Marine just took the go the other boat. Uh, well, he uh, just, he just died, so... Yeah. Did he? 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 Did
I can watch. I have to say though, like you just watching it is really kind of neat that you kind of take it a little bit more. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Because if you're playing, you're so focused, you're like it's the tunnel. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, here I feel like Cortana talking about the ring. Like, well, what else could we do? Oh, I'm sorry. Were you trying to play something? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that was beautiful. That was epic, dude. So this is the first time we see a ghost too, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. It's the first time we see a ghost. And so that's a cool revelatory moment where you're like, you see it, and then you're like, oh wait, I can ride I that thing. I get in it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then they give you a tank. Yeah, then they give you a tank, and you're like, wait a second. Oh, sure, guys. Do you want the tank? Uh, I don't mind. How do you guys feel about health packs? Eh, it's kind of annoying. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny because that that ah, whole mechanic is gone. Right? I mean, I'm sure. Pretty it's much. Some, some, some still hang on. Shooters, it's pretty much all yes. generated health. <laughs> With the pistol. <laughs> and the mechanic is so unrealistic that's the regenerate health, but it's more just like for player time, right? Like, okay, yeah. We're just gonna respect your time. Well, I think it makes sense with uh, a Spartan that they would have, like, regenerative Captain America kind of abilities. Yeah. I get, yeah. You know? So you wouldn't like need Call a health pack. When you, like, you just, yeah. you just get a shot up and then you just go hide and all of a sudden you're fine. Yeah, exactly. Well, like, it would make more sense if ODST, you know, like, the ODSTs had health packs. Or, like, that made sense. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, true. But, like, uh, the Master Chief is a cyborg with <laughs> all sorts of different enhancements, so it would make sense that his body regenerated on its own. Well, we and we also sense. know that the suit itself provides a bunch suit. of medical yeah, yeah. care to him. Yeah, yeah, so it's like... yeah. yeah. I have to say, Scorpion Tank is just so iconic. Like, it's so mm -hmm. cool. It's, it's such a cool beautiful. name for, for yeah. like perfectly encapsulated yeah, yeah, what Scorpion, it is. Right. Yeah, it yeah. looks so badass though. Like, there's there is not another tank in any kind of. Oh. Wraith got me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what That's I guess. As we were gushing over it. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Well, yeah. But I'll say, it's like, there's nothing that just captures how cool, like, no tank in any other medium that captures how cool, uh, you know, uh, the scorpion is. It's just so mm. cool. And the name comes from, like, a book, right? Like, the cannon. That's what I always almost assumed. looks like the tail of a scorpion. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly mm. what I always thought, too. I wonder what else was being considered tank. Like what what name, what animal name? Mmm. Uh Chupa thingy. It's a M Marty and Joe State question. Well what's the other one called with the uh, the grizzly with the dual Grizzly, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I can't I can't. Scorpion Grizzly. <laughs> oh my god, oh my but god. It's not a scorpion. Yeah. This is this is where the the scorpion's a little more powerful because you can control the for a one man play you can control the the machine gun. Uh, I think that's Halo Two. Oh wait, no, you have it on this one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Do you want Halo the? Do you want your tank back? Only if you don't want it. Yeah, it's fine. Halo Three is where it's transitioned into the gunner position. Yeah. Which, from a from a military standpoint, it makes more sense that the driver would be controlling all these weapons. And I love how you see there, the third part is there in the new graphics, but not there in the old graphics. Yeah, yeah, see? see. Yeah. Ow. Oh. Ow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I Let this be a lesson to you, children. Don't this climb on ta moving tanks. It's just the the vehicles in this are just so sensitive for splatters. It's it, yeah. it's crazy. Something just bops you just slightly and you're dead. Yeah. Interestingly enough, if you have like in your doom multiplayer and stuff, you can snipe someone out of a scorpion tank pretty easy. It's not. Yeah. It's it's there's a the way that the the gunner the the driver position is it's more like a. A harness instead of an actual encasing. They cram a lot of enemies in this room. I mean, it's a huge room. But if you yeah. rush, you need a little longer. I also love the uh, 
the scope mechanic, how it looks when you zoom in with the sniper rifle. That's like so awesome. A little dot. Yep. It's just I love how it just looks. Because it's I guess so cool. it's a little surface. But yeah. I think I got the hunters. <laughs> could probably explain away, maybe they did already, the zoom in with the pistol, because that could be like that smart link. It's, yeah, I think that's how they have always explained it away. The links to your, it's your helmet zooming, not you holding it up to your eye. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, later pistols don't have the zoom. They have like the... We don't talk about them, okay? <laughs> All other pistols are false gods. Yes. Hold the ammo back here. The cool thing about the sniper, though, is the little scope actually has, like, um, environmental stuff on it sometimes. Yeah. I'm... Isn't there a story about that hunter in the back corner from the blood of the book? Oh, probably. There's a story about everything. It's like a, there's a dude back there that's dead. It's like a rocket hunter. I think they... They built that into that, that nice. book. No way back corner over there. You know those memes that are like, name a bigger downgrade? That's what they should do with the CE pistol and then the, uh... Aw, <laughs> oh, shit, I should post that. That's name really good. good. Yeah, great. Cool. And there's the skull well, on you... the ledge on the other side. Yeah, it's on, it's on one of these 2B thingies. Yeah. This is a cool little room that I feel like isn't talked about enough like the bridges and there's this cavern and it's all underground it almost has like yeah, mines it's really of cool. Gloria. a little bit yeah yeah, yeah. especially in the old graphics <laughs> and when you come back there you're like this room again yeah this is like a ah, shit and then there's like 20 floods they need to make the door the big door and mega construct as well make doors <laughs> <laughs> doors Make doors and bridges. I would love a CD bridge. Like Just one do the, the whole level. Yeah, exactly. That's what they should That's do. Like a huge giant mod of assault on the control room. One of these missions. Yeah. You need so much space. Yeah. Well, if Mega wants to give me a bunch of pieces, I'll, I'll do it. Just like, yes. like, you can remove Yep. How cool would that be? Very cool. Kind of Oh, now it's stuck on a rock. He's out you, David. He's out pacing you. He's you. <laughs> okay, you have one more. You can use that. <laughs> yeah. Use it wisely. <laughs> Three strikes, you're out. I've been, I've been hanging out with Tom too much. You have. Yeah. Soon I'm going to be saying there's infinite possibilities. <laughs> use oh, the setup. But I'll bump. Oh my god, that, that ghost, ghost is assaulting you physically. <laughs> I missed him twice, so... He was like, I need a hug! <laughs> this ghost this is area weird is always because kinda... it moves very, um... Love it, though. ...very strangely. It's like, it's almost, it moves almost like a tank. It's very slow to respond compared to the other games where it's, like, really quick. Is this where you grab a banshee or not? Is that... Oh. Uh, no, no, that's no. on the way back. Yeah. Okay, that's on the way back. You can grab one once we get up into close to the controller. Because at this point in the mission, it's it's feeling it's starting to feel like a long mission, and I, I try to cruise past this part. And I probably really should I probably should enjoy the encounters I given to you. I love this part of the mission, to be honest. I also, I also will say I love how in Two Betrayals it uses this mission, but it, this part of the mission, but it expand, you know, expands upon yeah. it and go up. And I think that's so cool is that like originally you're on a very horizontal and then they go, well, let's add the vertical aspect to it. I think that's a really good use of the same set, but just showing what you could do differently. It's the same place, but up. But up, exactly. But what if we went higher? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hold down a button, sister, and try and put them over. You can do the little, the little wheelie thing that it, you can do. It tips the bottom of your ghost down. Ah! Oh, but you're right. I'm being I'm giving you problems. Where are you, David? The, the ghost just has like such a rocking effect where you feel like if you just like, oh no 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 no, wait, go back about it. <laughs> right, yeah. right. It takes a while to get used to it. I just love yeah. the sliding, scraping of this thing. 
Oh, oh. oh. That was me, Mom. Banshee got you. You died, David. What the hell? Did I? Did you? You weren't. No. So you Didn't spawned happen. with the ghost. Yeah, that's just where I got the checkpoint. Okay. Huh. No, but wouldn't that have spawned you on where David was at? Yeah. No, I didn't spawn. He, he was dead. Oh, oh, David was dead. Oh, okay. He's just playing it up. He's just pretending like he wasn't dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, David wouldn't lie to me. Pretending. Pretending. You were doing a better job than when you, uh, faked that, oh. uh, Halo door. <laughs> I just killed myself by shooting a ghost way too close to me. So, this time, uh, I'm dead. So this time you're dead? This time I'm dead. The, the hunters also have kind of a, a mortar-like attack with their, uh... They do lob, yeah. I yeah. They lob their, their shots. I feel like in later Halos, it's just more straight. Man, you die from one shot, but an assault on a ghost, he's just like, ah, I yeah, got my uh, yeah. Watch out for the Banshee. Uh, sometimes the, la the later games, it's like a stream. It's not yep. like a single shot. Yep, yep, yep. You will see that. Oh, Chris is gonna flip. No. I know, I hate yeah, it. Moves. So many grunts. Man, you also, if you go, if you go in the main oh, structure stop. of that You're other right. part. Oh, <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> I almost ran myself. You just like over. Tokyo drifted out of that. <laughs> I know. That was thing hit me. Stuff. I'd be dead. I'd be very dead. In the oh wow, it is. In the internal structure, you have you can go and find a, an energy sword. Oh yeah. An energy sort of lead, but you can Yeah. What was the reason that you couldn't pick it up? What was the rationale? Um, they made their energy swords, um, so that the one that it was bonded with, uh, would self-destruct. Right, so right. So that it couldn't be used against them. It, but real, in reality, they just didn't have the technology to make energy swords work in the game. Right. But that's a cool lore kind of thing, kind of like that James Bond, the gun only shoots for him. I thought the yeah, it's like Type 7 Energy Sword or something area. like that in the lore. Those are bros, right? Those my bros! I don't know. They had Covenant weapons. They might not be your friends. Is that guy have a sniper? That guy's got a sniper. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Here, I'll get it for you. Don't I'll tell you though. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was funny. Those... There you go. Sniper's all yours. Thanks, <laughs> the sniper. Wow, how convenient. Oh, you got the sniper. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was just lying around. It was just there. Crazy. Holy cow. We talked about this, I think, in the mission. They're the most hunters in this mission. I don't know. Salt in the control room. I mean, uh, silent cartographer had quite a few. Yeah, they had a it was like There's a rug eight. Yeah. Oop! First time you play that, you always get killed by. Oh, you always die from that guy. That guy always gets you. Yeah. Right. You just like surprise. <laughs> I wish that was just like bright flash of explosion. Oh, oh, no, yes. So lore wise, like it does feel like the Earth is dug in on the brain here, right? There. Yeah, it's all the gun emplacements and stuff like that. They really, really kind of feels like they're here for a while. Right. Marine, yeah. hold your positions. We'll handle those guns. And so, so, we went underground, but now we're in open air. Mm -hmm. I think there's just a bunch of different canyons that are... So we went down, down under, and then back up. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you really kind of think about it, you are still kind of underground. You're just, there's cracks in the... Right? Yeah, so like, you're way deep, right? Yeah, because you're in a ravine. Yeah. You gotta imagine though, the Covenant are bosses at just staging. Like they were here for a little bit and they've already taken over. Oh uh, yeah, they're... well they already know a lot about these rings from 
reading what they call scriptures, but are really just the runner stuff. Yep. Instruction manuals okay. turned into scripture. Yeah. <laughs> right. it, it's my scripture for the television I just watched. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fire in case of righteous anger. Only fire in case of mass genocide of flood. Oh! Saw I'll him. save you! Kill him! Kill him now! Save you! Where are you? Right here. Oh, huh? He's hiding. He's no shit, though, that's why. Boom. Alright, stuff back. Did I ever tell you guys about the time I was playing this game on co op and I got teleported in this mission while reloading and I got ended up with like an infinite clip assault rifle? It was what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The game just spazzed out as I reloaded, and it, it was awesome. The Guardian oh. blessed you. I was just afraid to, like, ever change weapon. So like... did you still have to reload? No, it was infinite clip. It just fired constantly. Wow. No what happens when you died? Oh, I lost it. Oh. And I've always, like, in the back of my head of, like, waiting to do that again. Yeah. Right. Just like, I'll wait here, reload, reload, reload. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not worth it, but like, at the same time, it's just stuck all the time. Was that Imagine on the street, or is that on the original game? Oh, that's a great question. Probably it's Probably a thing. Really? I don't think it's that long. I want an infinite clip, I'm jealous. It's a magazine. Does that mean that that had infinite possibilities? Oh! oh uh, uh, I want to die. So you're, you're out. <laughs> That's oh, for you. My brother would leave me. Oh, it goes up this time, though. Ah, shit. My brother would run to the elevator, hit it, and leave me behind. <laughs> Bye! You can actually, like, make the elevator come back down, though. Eventually. Yeah, yeah you can. I like how your head doesn't move up, just try to. It's Chief has a camera that he can look through his yeah. and it just looks he's up. Got a, he's got a sunroof. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just like a backup camera, but just like so you can look up. I would imagine it'd be hard to turn your head with all that armor. They probably, they probably just, just didn't know, know how exactly, exactly to make, make it. it. You have to lean back. Yeah. Well, you can't. Well, you wouldn't have had red versus blue if they figured it out when you were Oh, fuck, I love red. God, the original was so much fun. Oh, no! If they would just not, like, go into a fit of rage, they might actually be able to do some damage to <laughs> you. Yeah, I know. Dude, it's the Let best thing ever. It. Let me throw a fit so you can shoot me. Like, I'm so offended that you're shooting me at me. <laughs> but I'm gonna let you shoot me more. The climb over is the, <laughs> the crawl. The dungeon crawl. Dun, dun, dun. Next bridge? Oh look, yeah. another bridge. bridge. bridge, yep. bridge. Mega, make a, bridge. make a, make a epic bridge. double bridge. Make a double bridge. Do it. Comes What's better than one bridge? Two. bridge? Two. Okay, in my opinion, this should have allowed you to shoot the glass so you could fall to your death. Yeah, I know, right? It would have been great. Like, they didn't. The oh. four didn't skip on this glass. They're like, they'll yeah. make it the double. Double sided strong stuff so that no one falls. I have not got the right weapons for this. Like, imagine you had to add that verticality to it though. Like, oh, don't step there, you can die. And if you walk on it, you could just shoot the enemies and they fall to their death. That would have been sweet. Yep. Yep, do it. The snow looks nice so too. There's been a lot of bumps. deaths in this mission, so is that a good thing for the difficulty category or bad? Oh, I, I, think, oh, I good... think so. It's just the all the corridors and stuff. Lots of enemies. Lots of enemies. Yeah. That's yeah. The... Jeez, imagine if I played this mission. She would have had to drag my dead corpse all around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Although this is probably a mission I've played quite a bit. I haven't played CE in forever though. So I'm a little rusty. Oh, sounds like an excuse to me. Yeah, that's exactly what that was. <laughs> Bad lag. Coming I love the snowfall. Can you look up? I know, I know, it's so pretty. Versus, are you higher than me? Okay, you can't look up just to uh, uh, see where you are in the cavern. You went up an elevator, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me uh, not die first. Yeah. Stealthy. Where are you? Now, in two betrayals, the other mission has two hunters oh, on yeah, the other side. Down. Yeah, it does, yeah. So, this is where you just came from. This is the part where, so like down to the right is the ravine, yep. I think there. if you go back across the other bridge, I think that's where the hunters are on this bridge we're on yep. now. The, ele exactly. the elevator was over here. On that side, yep. So that's the door you just went through to get up. Yeah. Yeah. And so that was where all the hunters and the wraith tank were. Over there. Okay. I love this. Look, look up for me, Krista. Look up. Oh, you're still pretty. Yeah. Wow, that there's a Doesn't huge difference it, so. there. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> David, teleported, David teleported, me. teleported me. You're a well. Look up. <gasps> Stealth. Kill, 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 kill. Run. Sprint. 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 Shh. Assassination. Yo, damn it. Everyone be quiet. <laughs> I mean, that already, guy already seems kind of sus. How'd that guy get activated? I don't know. Oh, David's over here with the assault rifle. I have no that idea. Was cool, that was a cool kill looking at it from that perspective as you were coming. Oh, thank god. Ammo. Spankers? Ammo. Let's get that pistol. Spankers. I'm pistol. Oh, yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready for anything. Quick, someone turn on your oh, passion. Oh, boy. What button do I have the flashlight to? Not that one. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is, yeah. <laughs> one of the D pad buttons, I think. Up. My, no, mine's on the bumper. Yeah, right. that's why I kept hitting it to throw a grenade. Oh, my bumper's reload. No, I have mine on. Zoom in is on the trigger, like modern shooters is what I have it on. It probably is a monster wow. move, but. Mine's on the toggle. Shot you in the back of the head. It didn't hurt at all. I'm just bleeding a little bit. Well, if you look at if you look at the the CE pistol, like obviously Chief is looks like seven feet tall, and it looks pretty massive in his hand. So like, it's a massive, massive handgun. <laughs> yeah. They say that one. Nah. Like, they're, they're nah, that's... I'm dead. That's dead? a little suspect. You were pretty far away from that plasma. I don't know. How... I was. Yeah, I thought I I thought I'd get a little bit, but I didn't think I'd yeah. die from it. I also had like no health as well, so that's oh, probably, that probably what it was. I must retrieve my goods. Probably my goods. scattered across the uh, cosmos. I'm pretty sure there's stuff up here you can take up. But not this stuff. Yeah, I need my stuff. My stuff. stuff. Oh, there's a pistol. They were just stuck in the corner. <laughs> Although one at least just have no shield and they're just like, nope, leg it, duck hide. There we go. I like this room. I've always liked this like little yeah. room. Yeah. I don't know what it's for, but there's just a room. Command center or something. Yeah. I, yeah. I remember from two betrayals it's like loaded with flood. Oh yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. You just shoot the glass and throw a grenade in there and you're like, ooh. There, so yeah, real satisfying moments of, like killing groups of enemies there. Yep. I think we're gonna get some hunters on the right. Oh, and there he is. It's like a party. Wow, me and all my friends. No, you only can shoot through the glass. No, they can't. Go cool one red. Oh, it does. Yeah, we can actually. You can, uh, they didn't skip on this class either. No, they didn't. This is a double fly. Look how bad it looks. Lucky. 
it's almost weird though, the, the hunter, the hunter when it exploded almost looks like it's a gas. Yeah. I think it is. It almost whatever it is. Almost like a flamethrower. Yeah, it looks like the kryptonite gas thing. Oh uh, shit. Kryptonite yeah. gas. Bridge too far. Oh my god. It's Halo a bridge. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Is there any way we could upbridge this mission? Uh, 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 I mean we have to go in 40 minutes. Oh man, that guy I didn't see it. I feel like every time I play this mission, I play it backwards in my head because that's the version that I yeah. don't like. <laughs> like, oh, this part. Ugh. Ugh, I hate this part in the other mission that I'm not currently playing. Right, exactly. Oh my god, Nate. You're going in reverse. Maybe you have to cross the yeah. Oh, battery. Oh. Gotta change your battery, double A. <laughs> I bet the Covenant uses Duracell. <laughs> they would. That'd be a good commercial. Chief's using a plasma for a pistol and then it goes out. You should have used Duracell. <laughs> Deja vu, that room looked familiar. Yeah, it did a little bit. This corridor looks familiar, wow. Same architect, the, I bet. Huh? The one with the right. Yeah, there's one in the underground. The alcove. I can just picture the <laughs> architect picture, pitching this to the other forerunners. We're gonna do a corridor, but we're gonna make it. No, it's gonna be exactly the same as that one. Really, you don't look, want... look, we only have three building designs. All right, we'll just make it work. We'll just repeat it over and over and over again. They just well, what they did was they copy-pasted like in Forge, you know? They just copied and... Done. Done. I mean, these, these halos were very hastily created, so... Ah! Oh, hi, sir. Oh, boy. What should I help you with? Oh. Oh. Sir, there's no touching in this club. <laughs> Oh, shot in the back. Oh my god. Whoa. I was going right <laughs> toward you now. I know, was that that moment? Perfect. You knew. David's not on my side. <laughs> David's like, if Krista dies, she dies. She dies. <laughs> I feel bad for the Marines, but I'm really happy that this is like ammo from this pro condition. I know. Yeah, they made it a long way. Fucked up. Grenade. Like, oh no, another dead Marine. Thanks for the ammo, kid. Uh, Alright, I think this is the door with the uh, elite with the Banshee. Banshee, yeah, I know. Analyzing. Oh, I missed this them. Must be the control. This is the red natural red formation red bridge. Red this bridge yeah, isn't a natural red formation. Red She's on. Let's see if I can you wanna take it, or you want me to take it? I'm gonna get the second one. Okay. Go. Oh, they killed me before I could get it. All right, I'm going. Go. This is how you actually play this mission. If you're not grabbing the banshee and just going straight over here. <laughs> I've almost never not done it. Like I've always grabbed the banshee and either spend time shooting. So the way you gotta go down the elevator, supposed to grab right? the banshee. Uh, you don't have to, but. It's, it's. I find it funny that for all of it's probably because we grabbed the banshee, but for all of the um, reinforcements they have here, there's no one on the stupid tower. Right. They're all but fine. It, but it might just be because they haven't spawned in because of the banshee. A lot of. Oh, maybe. Well, that's a good point. I don't think there is that many on the tower though. I can't remember. You might have to follow because there's no ammo or anything up here. I was kind of hoping for something. I always. Uh, I think this doesn't. This tower have something in it. Yeah, there's a sniper rifle at the. Or is that Halo Three? It's not this one. Oh wait, it's two betrayals. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I like this tower though. It's cool. Oh. Yeah. I like how this uh, structure is very similar to the one that you see in Halo Three. 
I mean, it's technically the same ring. Oh, that's true. Where did you go? Oh, I'm in the tower. This is Control 1, Banshee. You are clear to land. This is Tower 1. I'm going back to the bridge to get my rocket launcher. Okay. <laughs> Under the bridge. Yeah. There it is. Oh, yeah, give me that. Mm -hmm. We're up into the bench. So, all this just so that you could assault the control room. Yeah. It's, the it's cool. It's pretty epic, though. It's like a... What would have made this mission even better is if Cortana said, We're here. Assault the control room. Uh... <laughs> that's, the, that's the name of the mission. Wow. Woo! Would have had a Leonardo DiCaprio meme pointing at it and everything. It's a nice little surprise. Like, oh, wait. Well, it's just so quiet out here, and then you open the door, and there's like 20 people. Is that sword guy? No. No, he's still there. I fell down. Where is he? I think he's hiding. I fell hiding. down and boxed my head. Yeah, he is. Oh, I Chris did, uh, imposed the tactical retreat, which he just. Yeah, yeah just I think he's got no shield, but I'm not 100% sure. He's kind of. Dancing a little bit in front of me, and then he's retreating. Oh, he doesn't like me. Oh, oh yeah, there you go. That, yeah. that was awesome. Go, go team. Go team. That blue elite. Oh shit! Sorry. Oh, it's okay. The forerunners were actually pretty smart though, like for fail safes of like how to fire this super weapon, like. Yep, you can get the control room, but you gotta get the key. The key's mm -hmm. way over here. And only humans can use the key. Yep. Smart. Oh, I'm so excited. I love Ooh, the look of the game. It's so good. Covenant forces well done, in the vicinity have been eliminated. Let's move on to Halo's Long control Long mission. I used to think that the, there I wasn't no like... death. That was pretty good. Right there. Yeah, no deaths at all. We're no deaths. Fine. You guys are really gonna make me edit. Sorry. <laughs> 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 <Well, laughs> this is it, Halo's control center. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah. We Seeing the whole ring fashion. just in like real time, it's so cool. Yeah. It it's even so looks big. good in the original so graphics. Big. It still looks decent. Chief's so like, cool. this is so beautiful. I'm gonna blow it up. <laughs> bye bye. I like a big massive room, tiny little console. <laughs> yeah, this right. is when uh, Chief fucks up Cortana too. Yeah. <laughs> Puts her in and she gets too much knowledge. Yeah. So, it's all fucked up. I recently heard that the that one of the original it. ideas for this game was that Cortana was gonna turn evil here because all right. of all never the the knowledge here. Is that true? I've never heard knowledge. I've so never heard that one. But I've heard that she was gonna be the villain, or she was gonna become more villainous here. What are you talking about? Well, this is this is kind of the start, right? Well, this is the beginning of her end. Like, yeah. Yeah. Ring isn't a cudgel, yeah, she there. takes in. There's else. too much what something information. Much information actually important. kills AIs, and this uh, makes her rampancy this even worse when it happens. It's forerunner. Interesting. Combined with this, and then yes, the, uh, the grave mind at the two, between two and three, it really she, she gets really fucked up. No, that can't mm -hmm. be. Oh, those covenant fools. They must have known. There must have been signs. And then she's just Slow sitting down. in space for half her lifespan as well after yeah. three. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Thinking. Thinking. Something horrible, and now they're afraid. Something this is pretty cool reveal. The like, captain, you know, where it's like stop the buried. It's something worse what than the covenant. Mm -hmm. It's not really... We can't yeah, get this, this whole thing really starts this, understand. like, tension. There's no time. Mm -hmm. Get out of here. She's find frantic. Keys. She's just, no! Before it's too late. Please, get out of here. Can you imagine if she explained it to him, to him then? Hold yeah. on, let me, yeah. let me well... break it down. All right, let's break this down. Uh, we've... <laughs> that was a long one, guys. Uh, well done. <laughs> We're at Zero... 51 minutes now. <laughs> yeah. Zero deaths, of course. Zero deaths. Zero yeah, deaths. That's perfect. Nice, Lots nice. of enemies. Go let's team. let's go. <laughs> let's go through our categories. Um, we have four categories to cover, and then we'll average them out to create a final score. We have gameplay. We have level design, difficulty, which you know, difficulty slash challenge, and then storytelling. Let's talk about gameplay first. Lots of elements in this mission. Um, I'll toss it to you, Krista, first to give some gameplay thoughts. 
So generally, I the gameplay is fantastic. There's so many enemies from the grunts to like all these different sword elites to stealth sword elites. The, the different enemies in this game are fantastic. And of course, then you add the element of literally all the vehicles that are available in Halo CE are available in Assault on the Control Room. You have Banshees. You have and ghosts. Every you have weapon. And every the weapon. Shotgun. Shotgun's Except the missing. shotgun. Yeah. yeah. But you get all the you get the best power weapons for this. So you get mm-hmm. the you get a bunch there's so many spankers and in lots this level. of ammo. Yes. Oh, yeah. The pistol. It it, mm. it pretty much gives you all of these toys to play with in this huge open map and just says, have fun. Yeah. You can go straight to the control room or you yeah. can go into all these different like little towers and stuff, which we would we didn't do, but there's so many more nooks and crannies that you can go into and just yeah. kill shit. It's mm-hmm. so great. Ten. Yeah, I can see, uh, David, mm-hmm. why you played this mission over and over. Because if you want to fire up and you want you have like an hour to play and you want to play some Halo, just fire this mm-hmm. mission up. This is like the PvE mission mm-hmm. to play good, yeah. from Halo. Um, you know, and you can go play PvP afterwards and just do some multiplayer, have some fun. But if you just want to go shoot stuff, um, and because it's report. so big, it's great on co-op that like you yeah. can just like separate yeah. and go separate paths and like you have each have plenty of enemies to fight and there's plenty of vehicles and and duplicate power weapons. Do you know what I mean? It, it's it's great. Like mm-hmm. it is good for that. Especially if you kill Marines and take them. Do you know what I mean? That kind yeah. of thing. <laughs> it's it's the it's the Halo mission where you get the lads together and you have a uh, it's like that. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So it but watching it felt long. You know? Oh yeah. Like, it's like, it ooh. is and it, yeah. And it's definitely it, it does bring in the fact that it is a corridor shooter and there are so many corridors that you're shooting yeah. in. Do you know what it's I mean? It's long it, and repetitive. It does. Mm-hmm. We'll talk about that, I think, a little bit more in the level design. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. per, probably. Gameplay is um, great. Difficulty. This is, it but, is Halo at its best gameplay, do you know what I mean? With all your yeah. toys and plenty of encounters to play with. So do mm-hmm. we give this a 9 gameplay? Or is I, it a perfect? Mm, I, I, it's, it's, it's a possible to be perfect without the shotgun. I don't know, Colin. Mm, that's yeah, a, that's true. That's, the, that's a good this point. Because this corridor crawler, having the shotgun in this level would have been a really fun. For and sure. we could say 100%. everything's available in That's this a good level. point. Yeah. So one point off for no shotgun. Okay. And I'm not doing points. So we'll, we'll go solid numbers Nine. for the categories. Uh, and the, yeah, you know, yeah. The average can be the the decimal point, so we'll give it a nine. Nine point nine 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 nine. Okay, so nine, on nine, par from a gameplay standpoint at, uh, with Silent Cartographer. Definitely, mm-hmm. and the fact that both of these missions are back to back makes it even cooler. Like you find mm-hmm. the control room, and then you immediately transition into assaulting the control room. Mm-hmm. Those two yeah. missions just work so well together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so now let's talk about level design, which, you know, there it, it gives you, you know, you start at the beginning, you're going underground, and then your corridors, and then you're into the big wide space, and then you're back so into many the corridors, back yeah. into the big yeah. wide open space, across a bridge, all that sort of stuff. Uh, but again, it feels tedious after a while. Um, is that a knock against it, or, or is, should that not be considered? I feel like the best parts of these levels are when you're not in a corridor. When you're mm. when you're at the very beginning and you walk out and it's the big snowy area and then the mm. next snowy area and then finally the final one with the control room. Yeah. All of the like parts the where you're in a cool. corridor are just yeah. They're not terrible. They're not bad. They just get so repetitive and it's just like, all right, let's go through the corridor so we can get to the cool part again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the circular rooms do get really repetitive. I mean, they yeah. mix it up with like giving you different enemies and stuff like that. I mean, that, that's okay, but and some of them are kind of like you might uh, let you kind of stealth them, and it's kind of you kind of you can give yourself a little bit of a challenge, like oh, I'm gonna stealth this room and all that kind of stuff. But mm-hmm. that's obviously on on your own bat to to do that. But um, I yeah, it is it is tedious, it is long, especially with given the length of the mission. I think the cool thing about it, though, is that, like, yeah, the hallways, I think the hallways where you're turning in and out are really kind of tedious, but I think it makes the moments where you open up just so much yeah. better, though. You Like, it's like mm-hmm. this, like, oh, For quarter, sure. quarter, then. Well, especially yeah. that, especially that first one when the door opens and then you see the wraith and it's firing yeah. mortars and you see the yeah. Marines struggling There's Marines on the other there side. on the fire. And yep. Yeah, it's great. But that's, sure. that's the, that's the really good one. And then. Mm-hmm. 
the sections after that that open up to the snow is just like, okay, yeah, okay, another snow part. Mm-hmm. Cool, I get to do cool stuff again. And then you walk into the room again, you're like, no, I'm going up an elevator. <laughs> Right. It's a it's a pretty it's a pretty like intricate mission of like corridor open corridor open. It's really kind of there's a lot. To yeah, it. It, and it gives a lot you a, a lot. Yeah, yeah, it gives you a good sense of like because I was just thinking is like well why did she drop you off here versus maybe closer to where the actual control room was? Right. But it's yeah. because the covenant is so dug in, right? That you couldn't she couldn't have inserted you anywhere else, right? I mean, that's the the, the concept. Sure. Because yeah. they would have just shot down the pelican or, you know, killed Chief. Mm-hmm. So he had to be set down over here. This is the best spot to get to the control room. You just had to cover a lot of ground to get there. Yeah, they didn't want to chance it with pelicans knowing that they're natural resting places in the ground. <laughs> it's true, it's true. <laughs> Smoking, right? Yeah. So well, is this... throughout the level, you but... see other pelicans that have attempted to get farther towards the control room and that have failed. Yep, Johnson's like, pelican the... goes down. Yeah, yeah, like by the um, scorpion, there's a downed pelican. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it, this one's hard. I feel like this is a difficult one for mm-hmm. level design because, like, the level design is so cool, right? Like, you, we were looking around and seeing this big cavern, and then it's in snow, and there's a bridge here in the open wide space. But then again, it gets tedious. So I feel like that needs to be a knock against it. Um, so like is, can we seven. go to a six on this, or does it need to be higher than that? I was thinking uh, between higher. a seven and an eight. Maybe we go with seven. I was I think, thinking that too. I, I would have gone just because it is enjoyable. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, 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 the lows are low, but the highs are really high. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah. I go seven. So seven. Okay. So we'll go with level design seven. So now difficulty. Um, there were deaths. Is that a good <laughs> thing or is that a bad thing? Well, we're assaulting the control room. It does right. feel like an assault. It's we're not, not just walking around easy. the beach like Matt Light. Like, you know what I mean? We were <laughs> assaulting. You know what I mean? There's so action I think here. The difficulty is good on this one. Like there's a yeah. lot of enemies. And again, this is the mission that you will play over and over again because of, of the variety and the fun gameplay, but it's it's not like a cakewalk. So it, it gives yeah. you there's enough enemies and enough variety of encounters that you're you want to try it again um, mm-hmm. over and over and you're willing to you know grit your teeth and get through it. Well, and the level actively tries to bamboozle you, right? Like when you're going under that bridge and there's a stealth sword elite or the random banshees Mm -hmm. that come out of nowhere and banshee Mm -hmm. bomb you or, you know, just opening a door and there's a sword elite and like 20 grunts. Like it actively tries, you can tell that the Covenant are actively trying to find the best way to kill you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it makes sense. Yeah. And you can tell that the game is getting more difficult as you progress towards the end, right? That it's scaling. This is a big turning point in the game. Yeah, for sure. I think I think it's awesome. So I'm liable to give this nine. one like a nine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would. yeah. I don't know if we can go ten or not. We haven't. What have we given the other ones? We gave the silent cartographer seven and Halo a six on difficulty. So I think the difficulty on this one, the difficulty spike is a positive. Yeah, for sure. So I'm, I also like how the mission doesn't like it, it. It's difficult, but it also gives you the tools to engage that difficulty right you get wraiths they give you a scorpion tank you get uh, hunters they give you spankers you know like i think that it's kind of nice that it like it it allows you to have fun in that challenge Mm -hmm. for sure all right last category is storytelling um hmm. lots lots of story is established i feel like there's not as much exposition as you go through the mission but again the environment is telling you like, it's at the very end when you're it's in the It's at the very end where you get that, that info dump because there's almost, there's very little through the course of the mission that even mm-hmm. Cortana says to you. Like, there's a yeah. small bit with the Marines and stuff in terms of their crashing and trying to find them, but like mm-hmm. you're pretty much left alone to find your way through and then it gives you the info dump at the end. Um, yeah. Well, the story is to assault the control room, right? That's the yeah. only story here. You get to the control room, you of course learn some things, but the entire story of this mission is to assault the control room. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. But does it do a good job of that? What yes. trying to do? Uh, yes, I definitely think it feels like a journey to get there. Mm-hmm. I don't me. I mean, it's a very simple story, so it's probably between like maybe a seven and an eight. But mm-hmm. it does tell what it needs to tell very effectively. Yeah, I agree. and it, it feels like an epic battle that you're yeah. fighting your way through the Covenant to get to the control room. So it's like it feels rewarding to do. Um, mm-hmm. So I think, I think 100% towards eight. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. eight. 
I mean, there's the big info dump, and that's an important turning point in the story. So you're like, okay, what's going on here? And then it makes sense that the Covenant is there and just really putting up a fight. Um, yeah, I'm, I think eight, I'm okay with eight. So let's do that, and then let's do... I'm not going to do head math, so math, give me a second. Drum roll, please. So <laughs> gameplay is nine. Level design is seven. Difficulty nine. That's the highest difficulty we've had. And again, it's a positive. Um, so if you add them together, 33 divided by four is 8.25. That is fair. That is fair. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. So uh, a little bit below um, silent. Silent, silent Cartographer and Quite that tracks bit. though. And a that's little how ahead I feel about them. Yeah. Mm, okay. yeah. That's how I feel about them. Sounds oh, good. Yeah. All right. That's well, a good that was. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. I think it's it's shaping up. This is this is again. Um, we we're we're excited to to go through Alt Mall and thanks for joining us for the ride. That'll do it for our twenty for twenty coverage of Assault in the Control Room from Halo Combat Evolved. On the next episode, we'll be covering three four three Guilty Spark. Oh boy. Calm down. Don't... Don't forget to post uh, a comment, like the video, or subscribe. You can also support the show by visiting Podcast Evolved on Patreon. Until next time, Evolved. 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 Evolved.